Oof. This is a this time frame is not relevant to AI. You can't take ten years from the point at which it's dangerous. It's too late. If you have this fatalistic attitude, and you yeah. feel like it's going, we're in a almost like a doomsday countdown. It's not necessarily a doomsday countdown. It's it's a out of control countdown. Out of control. Yeah, people call it the singularity, and uh, that's that's probably a good way to think about it. It's, it's a singularity. It's hard to predict, like a black hole, what what happens past the event horizon. Right. It's so difficult. once it's implemented, it's very difficult because it it will once be able to. Once the out of the bottle, what's right. going to happen? And it will be able to improve itself. Yes. That's where it gets spooky, right? The idea that it can do thousands of years of innovation very, very quickly. Yeah. And then we'll be just ridiculous. Ridiculous. We will be like this ridiculous biological shitting, pissing thing trying to stop the gods. No, stop. We like we like living with a finite lifespan and, and watching, you know, Norman Rockwell paintings. It could be terrible, and it could be great. It's not clear. Right. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it. Do you think that it's likely that we will merge somehow or another with this sort of technology, and it'll augment what we are now? Or do you think it will replace us? Well, that's the scenario. The, 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 the merge scenario with AI is the one that seems like probably the best like for if, us yes like if you if you can't beat it join it <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah you know um, so from a long term existential standpoint that's like the purpose of Neuralink is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain such that we can be symbiotic with AI. Because we have a bandwidth problem. You just can't communicate through your fingers, it's too slow. And where's Neuralink at right now? I think we'll have something interesting to announce in a few months. That's at least an order of magnitude better than anything else. Probably, I think better than probably anyone thinks is possible. How much can you talk about that right now? I don't want to jump the gun on that. Um, but what's like the ultimate, what's, what's the idea behind it? Like what are you trying to accomplish with it? Like what would you like, best case scenario? I think best case scenario, we effectively merge with AI uh, where we, AI serves as a tertiary cognition layer uh, where we've got the limbic system, um, kind of the you know, primitive brain essentially. We've got the cortex, so you're, you're currently in a symbiotic relationship, your, your cortex and limbic system are in a symbiotic relationship. And generally people like their cortex and they like their limbic system. I haven't met anyone who wants to delete their limbic system or delete their cortex. Everybody seems to like both. And the cortex is mostly in service to the limbic system. People may think that, 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 they're, that the thinking part of themselves is in charge, but it's mostly their limbic system that's in charge. And the cortex is trying to make the limbic system happy. That's what most of that computing power is oriented towards. How can I make the limbic system happy? That's what it's trying to do. Now, if, if we do have a third layer, which is the AI extension of yourself, that is also symbiotic. Um, and there's enough bandwidth between the cortex and the AI extension of yourself, such that the AI doesn't de, de facto separate, then that could be a good outcome. That could be quite a positive outcome for the future. So instead of replacing us, it will radically change our capabilities. Yes, it will, it will enable anyone who wants to have superhuman cognition. Anyone who wants. This is not a matter of earning power because your earning power would be vastly greater after you do it. So it's just like, Anyone who wants can just do it, in theory. That's the theory. And, and if that's the case, then, and let's say billions of people do it, then the outcome for humanity will be the sum of 
of human will, the sum of billions of people's desire for the future. And but that, that billions could be a, of people with enhanced cognitive ability, radically yes, enhanced. Yes. And th which would be, it, but how much different than people today? Like if you if you had to explain it to a, a person who didn't really know, understand what you're saying, like how much different are you talking about? When you say radically improved, like what do you mean? You mean mind reading? It would be do difficult. It would be difficult to to really appreciate the dif the difference. Um, it's kind of like how much smarter are you with a phone or computer than without? It's you're vastly smarter, actually. You know, you can answer any question if you if you connect to the internet. You can answer any question pretty much instantly. Any calculation uh, that your phone's memory is essentially perfect. Uh, you can remember flawlessly. Your phone can remember videos, pictures, and everything perfectly. Uh, that's the that your phone is already an extension of you. You're already a cyborg. You don't even well, most people don't realize they are already a cyborg. It, that phone is an extension of yourself. It's just that the the data rate, the rate at which of the communication rate between you and the cybernetic extension of yourself, that is your phone and computer, is slow. It's very slow. And and that. That, it's like a tiny straw of, of, of information flow between your biological self and your digital self. And we need to make that tiny straw like a giant river, a huge, high bandwidth interface. It's an interface problem, data rate problem. If you solve the data rate problem, then I think, I think we can hang on to human machine symbiosis through the long term. And then people may decide that they want to retain their biological self or not. I think they'll probably choose to retain their bi biological self. Versus some sort of Ray Kurzweil scenario where they download themselves into a computer? You will be essentially snapshotted into a computer at any time. If your biological self dies, you could just probably just upload into a new unit. Literally. Pass that whiskey. This, we're getting crazy over here. This is getting <laughs> ridiculous. Can Down the rabbit that? hole. Grab that sucker. Give me some of that. <laughs> this is too freaky. <laughs> See, if I've I was been thinking about this for a long time, by the way. I believe you have. If I was talking to one of my cheers, by the way. Cheers. Yeah, this is a great whiskey. <laughs>